yourself. What role does skateboarding play in the evolution of modern transportation? Is it A, a public nuisance? B, a fuel-efficient alternative to the automobile? C, a totally frivolous activity? D, a modern sport capable of being practiced without a team nor organization? You decide. <laughs> You know, I'm asked all the time, how do I get these skaters of mine to perform such great maneuvers, such great feats of physical talent? 
And uh, I must say, on my part, it's an extremely physical task for me to get them to do this. Let's go. Okay. Move it. 720 to Fakie. Hot. Back side here. Uh, Pop, you blew it. That's very weak. Can we get a stunt skater in here? Jet. You're crazy. How long have you been skating? Six years. When did you start? Um, six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Maggots! Horn of many in this day of uh, urban decay and suburban development is the question of what cities were originally designed for. A, a center for social intercourse. B, a headquarters for public processing. C, a convenient locale for gang warfare. D, a natural terrain for skateboarders. Anyway. 
Now a word from our sponsor. The passion. The stench. Now you don't have to be a skater to smell like one. Rector Week 540 Men's Cologne. Available at finer skate boutiques. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today at the Greater Gutter Open. This is the one, Sam, the one event on the tour that all of these guys really work towards. Pat, you're right there. This is it. The greatest challenge they'll have all year. You can see it in their faces. Oh, that's so true, Sam. Look, the gallery is hushed as Lance approaches the fairway. All the elements, Pat. Look at the way he's testing the wind. Unbelievable. Oh, Lance is a real pro. No question about it, Pat. Now, look at the way he feels the lay. Unbelievable. Oh, 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 a fakie. Oh, well executed. That could mean extra points. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Amazing. Incredible, Incredible athleticism. athleticism. Pat, that was just amazing. What was that? Sam, uh, we may need to go to the books on that one, but it may have been the first flat tail drop ever right here at the Greater Gutter Open. Oh, Pat. Just look at the tension on Ray's face. He knows, Pat. He knows the task before him. Sam, it just might be too much, but look at this man. He's, he's there, Sam. I think he's there. He... Look at that concentration. This man is committed. He's lining up his lay. He's feeling every bit of it, Pat. This could be it. <laughs> Pat, I am just flabbergasted. The total horizontality of that maneuver just astounds. Oh, it boggles the mind, Sam, and right into the Hellenic pose. Ray just knew he knew today was the day. And, and look at this. Tony is changing equipment. He's going all out, Pat. He's going for the 31. <laughs> Please, boys, quiet, please. Now that the gallery is hushed, this could be the moment, Pat. This just shows you, Sam, how, how much this means to these guys. This competition is keen. He's lining up. This could be... Oh, oh, oh Amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sam, Sam, I mean, what? Pat. I think that was the shove it souffle, over easy. I've heard about it, but never did I expect to see it today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. For Sam and I and the rest of the crew at the Greater Gutter Open, it's back to you.
yet sensitive, intelligent yet inhuman. Ray enjoys mingling in places he has no business being in. He gathers great satisfaction from experiencing the fine cuisine and summer weather of the French Riviera. Ray sees himself as a connoisseur of modern art, living large with Warhol and Marilyn. Watch Ray feel at home at any one of the world's largest cosmopolitan cities. A prime mover in a Bangkok parade. Cappuccino, perhaps? Huh? Let's now join Ray and some of his equally deluxe skate comrades at one of the world's five star ramps. <laughs> Stop our easy side 
My name's Chris Long, my name's Flynn Atkins, we live in Columbus, Indiana, and we've been skating for about three years, and we put together a little clip from our latest home skate video, and we hope you enjoy it. Enjoy! Yeah! 
Now, what common activity does skateboards most closely resemble? A. Playing bridge. B. Bedwetting. The C. The tournament yo-yo. D. Sidewalk surfing. Or E. All of the above. <laughs> It is estimated that 120,000 teenagers will be victims of this gang warfare. Innocuous sounding club names such as the Trojans or the Rabbit Warriors mask the deadly activities of these groups. More on this later. It will go over their heads!
Teenage Fad. My summer tour by R. L. Mountain. It started one day. <laughs> my summer school stool <laughs> tour. Jumpers. Right, that's why I just right there. Are we Hey Tony, how'd you like the ramp? Ramp wide enough for you, Ray? Something wrong with that ramp, Steve? It's so bad. You know, like it's so bad.
your butt five dollars come on This next segment demonstrates but a few of the many uses of wood, that naturally occurring cellulose material that we often take for granted. During the segment, count the variety of ways that you see that wood is actually being used.
And now, the fabulous Scooter Race. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one you've all been waiting for. The Mr. Trojan Derby. The dash for the bones. The ultimate test for these men of steel wheels. Keep yourself clean out there. And remember, it goes down the hill, around the lake, through the shopping center. Avoid all trucks, buses, pedestrians. Stay clean out there. Now, on your marks. Oh, no. And they're off. Picking up and dropping off speed as they head down the straightaway. <laughs> Steve, King Size, slides into the early lead. Through the first turn, it's King Size, the city boy, and Lance downhill mountain. But Chet the Jet uses his tool to take downhill and Lucky Lassie out of the picture. The fireman is alarmed. And it's Guerrero, the city boy, in the lead, while mischievous Mountain tells his competitors with kindly tokens of tastelessness. Barbie jump ramps onto the 405. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. They split. The racers have separated the free shake, bake, and rebate as Mountain meanders and Thomas fades, while Bucky bounces down, out, and sideways in a pretend crash intended to divert the opposition. And who's this? The Jet Boy moves ahead, looking cool, calm, and conceited. But it's the City Boy making a 7.0 faultless slip slide move. And now, here comes Mountain. He takes Guerrero right out of there. What a man! Now the pack draws around the clubhouse turn. They hunt, they butt, but what's this? A furry foreigner? The pack masses together as sides pulse obediently, while the lively lounge lizards begin their racing frenzy. But the cold-blooded reptiles are foiled by sizes seemingly psychotic swerving. It seems they've traveled into an inversion layer. And Bugs goes down and kisses Creep. Stella! Meanwhile, City Boy turns for home on his own. He pours it on, he's pulling ahead. Ahead, back in time. Whoa, it's the boot, the boot. The boot has jammed his scoop. But wait, is it help from above? No, it's rock and roll. And now, Barbie fenders ahead with Stevie confidence. What's this? More gratuitous offerings from the heavens? But that mystery guy surfingly reappears as the pack regroups with a high-life stretch. The pack hand jives 
one another in a frantic attempt to get ahead. And the Battlestar Boot marches on. Ray slip slides while Lance signals. Whoa. Let's listen in as the pack jostles for position while Chet jets ahead into the stratosphere. The Jet checks their position and it looks like Downhill is pulling ahead. But wait, Lucky goes down. And now there's yet another collision. Uh-oh, they're over now. They're up. They're down. And Downhill and Lucky make repairs to their low-ditch equipment. Back on their feet, the pack attacks the street. It's hyperspeed. Guerrero time warp swept while Lance cuts off Surfer Joe. Guerrero matches up while Mysterioso reappears for one last spin. And now Lance cracks out his ranks for tweaking the... The pipe bomb! That's it! That's it! Our mean, lean, skinny machine crosses the finish line, revealing his ultimate secret weapon. The winner! The winners! Downhill and his mountain have taken the Trojan Derby!
Today's studies include classifications of species and genus, and even more specifically, sport and activity. When does a sport become a sport? A. When there are national and international champions. B. When it's practiced by millions around the world. C. When it's banned. D. When it's on television. E. You decide.
present you guys with something to say. Once an OG skater from the old school, over his last turn he skated tons of pools. The other little old were quite the businessman, when they hooked up it was the master plan. The OG skater couldn't skate no more, except of course back and forth to the store. He got a new crew, one that could rage, and named his boys the Bones Brigade. The boys would practice each and every day, to be a bone boy you know it'd be that way. When it came down to rock the world, they would bust out for all the boys and girls. It started off in the US of A, rocking and a rolling from state. To state, city to city, and town to town, from LA to New York's underground, north, south, east, and west, right in Palparata, cause it's the best. Skating for money or skating for food, always maintaining a good attitude, looking good and living large. And on the ramp, yes, they did bars with long smith brands and hurricanes, always crazy, you know, always insane, but in control at all times. Skating hard to those hip hop rhymes, always skying high and never going. In effect, never dissing a bro. Things did change as time went by. What used to be cool now was fly. What used to be new now was old. And this is how the story is told.